All right, I'm clicking go live. Hey, everybody. Richard Hart here. Uh, I'm with David Gockstein. Is that my saying that right, dude? It. Try it. it. Try it. I mean, try it again. Well, no, you got to say it the right way the first time, or otherwise I'll never get it. You got to I mean, tell me you what... You can pronounce it like 13 different ways. Well, say it the way you say it. I mean, Gockstein. David Gockstein. Gockstein. Sounds fine. I think I got it. Gox. So, uh, are you a, an XRP maxi? What's, I think you love XRP, no, no? man. What the fuck? I'm I don't not know. An XRP maxi at all, man. Like, I, I'm, I am a, I would define myself as a crypto maxi. All right. I'm, I'm not a Bitcoin maxi, not an ETH maxi, as some will call me. Right. I'm not an XRP maxi, but I just, okay. I believe in the space. All right. I mean, all the numbers went up, so. XRP went up, Bitcoin went up. I think this hasn't been the greatest year for XRP because the SEC, you know, lawsuit and all that. What's going on with that? I, I really want, I really want to see Ripple win, just because it would give clarity to our space. That, I don't give a fuck if you don't like XRP, you hate Ripple, you hate Brad, you hate the way that Chris styles his hair. It doesn't matter to me. At the end of the day, what matters is if Ripple wins, every single project or every single innovator understands what they're doing in this goddamn space. I, I think you that... Know, they're not walking on eggshells. I think the, uh, the United States government just, like, basically knocked the SEC back, like, 20 years. They, they made a ruling that the SEC isn't actually allowed to do the things that they're doing. Like they don't actually have the authority and to like screw people up without a trial. So when does the, uh, when does the CFTC finally come into play? I mean, the CFTC, the CFTC is mad CFTC friendly. Says, like they just, they like Bitcoin and stuff, you know, they don't. That's what I'm saying. When, yeah. when do they come and finally say, you know what? We think everything's a commodity in this space. Right. We want innovators to innovate. So yeah. let, when do we get the, when do we get to play here? Yeah. I don't like, so. When that ruling came out from the judicial branch, federal court, it was like, you know, the XRP thing was already in play. And so I don't know whether they just are like, do they just stop? <laughs> They're like, oh, we're not allowed to be doing this. Like, I, I guess they didn't just stop. But it's really interesting to me because it wasn't it wasn't very widely advertised that such a massive ruling happened. It was It was like huge. It was like, yeah, you guys, this is a state thing, not a federal thing you guys don't get to do this. And it was like, whoa, it was crazy. I should, I should pull up the actual, like, I should link to the case law. I know I tweeted it once, but it, it was like months ago. Um, what are you thinking about the Ethereum bounce? I think Ethereum just bounced a lot harder than Bitcoin did. Let me go look at the ETH BTC chart. It's crazy because like Ethereum stayed and it felt like it, it was just a fucking stable coin. Right. And Ethereum was just like, you know what? I'm bored. It's time. And, yeah, ETH BTC watching. this week is up twenty four percent. Yeah, but it's I still it was like, like almost thirty. Well, yeah. it's still wrecked. Numbers. Like, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty wrecked <laughs> over the. Uh, I mean, at the at the top till now, it's I don't know down twenty three percent. I think I think Ethereum's way better than Bitcoin, so I don't mind the, the ETH BTC chart going up. And you know what? The Mt. Gox trustee doesn't have 140,000 Ethereum to sell, but he's got 140,000 Bitcoin to sell. And the Mt. Gox so and the Finex hackers that have 70,000 BTC that got seized that the government wants to sell, I didn't hear about them having no 70,000 ETH. So, you know, that's some sell pressure for Bitcoin that's not there for Ethereum. But, but the problem with Ethereum is, like, it still acts like a leveraged position on BTC. BTC is yeah. still going to go down. In my opinion, people see this bounce and they're getting all happy. And you look and you're like the the discount to nav on grayscale Bitcoin is still thirty percent. But here, let up. me ask you this question, Rich. Yeah. You you were, by all accounts, a Bitcoin maxi. Yeah. Or a, at least a Bitcoiner. I don't want you know. Uh, I say Bitcoin maxi. Everybody, some people get offended, but I'm like, you. No, I was I was a Bitcoin maximalist back when everything sucked. But so, then everything so stopped sucking. Happened? Everything stopped sucking. So it, no, hold on. Is it people? 
the like the maxis within the space that drove you nuts or is it just like i'm done with bitcoin in general so none I'm of that no the reality just changed so what what used to okay what did ethereum used to be to me a place where people launch scams that's okay. it that's all it was and they had rolled back the chain i'm like okay i don't like any of that then uniswap came out and made peer-to-peer -peer trustless trading real deal so i made uniswap popular on my back and my project was a majority of the volume and trading there for so once when people, when, when people tell when people say you didn't they're retarded go look at the history go look at the tweets who tweeted more about uniswap me or the founder me period i promoted his stuff more than he did period so you know the, the fact the proof is in the pudding go, go see who tweeted more about uniswap me or hayden adams i did uh whose project did more volume on uniswap mine or unisox I, mine did like you know so and then uh you had uh, hex it, hex it, launched on ethereum but well, hold on where yeah. does the fucking hate come from though well where it comes from multiple it? places right so like originally you know as a bitcoin guy i'm trash talking everybody else's projects they don't like that when someone's yeah. trash talks your project you hate them That's then true. I like switch teams to the smart team, the winning team. It's like, hey, Ethereum's way better than Bitcoin now. It's got stable yeah. coins, it's got NFTs, it's got hacks, it's got options, it's got lending, it's got all the developers. You're like, okay, it, it won. It's got faster transactions, lower latency, higher throughput. If you want to trade on an exchange, they give you your coins twice as fast. You're like, it's better in every way. And it's never had an inflation bug of which Bitcoin's had two. And it's got a bug bounty program, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I could go on all day, you know. Uh, <laughs> so then the Bitcoin guys hated me because I upgraded and they didn't want to come along and be smart. And by the way, if they were smart, like if they had just dumped all of their Bitcoin and bought hacks on January 1st of 2020, they'd have 250 times more Bitcoin now because hacks is still up 250 X versus Bitcoin after a huge dip. Uh, if they had bought Ethereum instead of Bitcoin, they'd be up 3x over Bitcoin. Uh, it's just like, they're just idiots. What? They don't listen. What? what? <clears throat> so the hate, So there's more what? places. I, I, now, I, now I purposely generate hate on purpose. So for instance, these shoes <laughs> are $5,550. See these yeah, shoes I, right here? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get to 5550 uh, This shirt's 2500 This pants are 1500 This jacket's 9000 I mean, this shirt is uh, thirty four ninety nine. I'm just putting it quarter out. million, quarter million. Hate me, hate me. I'm farther than you'll ever be in your whole life. Quarter million. People, people, you know. And then they look at. So what I, I get them with the outrage. Oh, I get them with the you anger. Want the hate? <clears throat> yes, you're looking, I do. Are you looking for the hate? Yep. Why? Because they won't give me attention any other way, and I can't save them unless they listen, and they don't listen unless I'm bothering them. But what attention? What, what, do you, what do you mean by? I'm the guy. You don't. You don't think you can get your message across without? Nope. Without buying like nine, ninety thousand dollar underwear? Nope. No, I don't. Because I tried that. I'm the guy that invented a product to remove counterparty risk, so you could generate yield holding your own keys. And so, who became popular? All the guys that wanted your keys and stole all your money. Those guys became popular. Those guys got promoted. Those guys got the ring kissed by every scumbag in the scam industrial complex that's general crypto. The, the YouTubers that promote margin trading, that's the worst thing you'll ever do in your life, you'll lose everything. That promote rug pulls. The rug pulls that have been listed on the front page of CoinMarketCap. The things that went to zero that were on the front page of CoinMarketCap. The things that went to zero that were listed everywhere. That's the stuff that's being promoted to you when my, is the th my thing is the thing that would have saved you. I'm the guy that told you to pull all your money out of Celsius a year and a half ago, two years ago. I'm the guy that tells you not your keys, not your coins. I'm the guy that invented the solution and I'm banned, blocked by everybody. Blocked by Coindesk, blocked by Cointelegraph, blocked by Zero Hedge, blocked by Sailor, blocked by everybody. So blocked by Mashinsky, because so I'm the truth, only, I'm the hero. So, I'm the guy that'll so save you. Okay, so your only way of being heard was, you know what? Fox I'm blocked or, everywhere. I'm I'm just gonna fucking buy things yep. that are just ridiculously priced. I'm yep. gonna say like, listen, I'm gonna say shit that you like, whether you like it or not. I'm just gonna say shit. Yep. And you're gonna fucking notice me. This is. I talk about my dick size. I keep the measuring I've tape. I heard here. that. I heard about that. I'll do whatever it takes. 
because I'm here to save these people. I'm the guy who produces free self-help videos, free self-help books, free coins, the world's largest free airdrop coming up, Pulse Chain. Copy all your coins on Ethereum on a new chain. You can go test the test net right now. Your coins are sitting there. It's been working great for months. I'm the guy that raised $27 million for medical research to save the haters' lives. I'm the best human being in this entire industry. And the only way I can get people's attention is by making them jealous or angry. You because life's not fair. I bought the world's biggest reason. diamond for $4.2 million. I got 100 news articles. I raised $27 million for charity. Seven times more. No one cares. Oh, well, nobody cares okay. about good stories. Cool. I mean, like, I, I can agree with you there <clears> that nobody cares about anything that's good because new, good news stories are always just like if you're, you're watching uh, any news channel, any news uh, program, it's always at the end. And Michael Jordan to end the telecast went ahead and donated $10 million to, you know, the children's yeah, basketball. Yeah, no one cares. I, 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 oh, by the way, I called the top on the day. Everyone else told you Bitcoin was going to 100K. I'm telling you it's going to 11K now. It might go lower. But let's see 11K and pray. That's my saying. It's crazy to me, bro. And then even now, even the, news, even the news agencies interview me now, they don't even want to talk about my products. They just want to talk about my price calls. They're like, okay. Hold on. Mm -hmm. so you don't think that uh, you don't see Bitcoin uh, going back and crushing its all-time high of 69 and change? It, it is. Okay. Bitcoin is at the top of its S-curve. But a bunch of idiots that think they're early and bought the 13-year-old thing that's 13 years old, that's been around for 13 years, they think they're early. The world's richest guy bought, governments bought, governments made it legal tender. It's traded on the largest exchange in the entire world, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Everybody already bought, but they think they're early. They're idiots. Bitcoin is cheaper now than it was five years ago. Bitcoin's all-time high five years ago was 20K. It's all-time high this time was 3.5X higher at 69K. Five years to get a 3.9x and then watch it drop 73%? Garbage. My coin went up 10,000x in under two years with perfect, flawless operation, and it was given for free to Bitcoin holders. Okay, but still the question remains, will it... Sure, it will make a new, limp, weak, slow, takes a long time to get there, 100k, new all-time high at some point, sure. And everything else will beat it, just like everything else beat it this cycle. What didn't beat Bitcoin this cycle? Okay, fine. like everything. Take away it. the money. Take take away the money aspect. Take let's oh, take, yeah. throw out the let's money. Let's get rid of the money out of the currency. All right. Sure. No, no, what I'm saying is what else is it good for? You can't doesn't no, no, do anything saying, else. Let's, let's take away let's take away the price. I'm talking about 22, 25s, 11,000s. Let's take that away. Did Bitcoin go ahead and open the doors? El Salvador, we can go ahead and make an example there. Did it, is it opening up the doors currently to go ahead and fix the monetary systems all across the world? No. What? You don't, think, you don't believe so? How is getting wrecked and buying the top of an S-curve fix the monetary system? How does destroying no, the environment with mining fix anything? Forget about, but, but again, I'm, I'm forgetting about price, price right now. I'm talking about... No, but like, how does the destroying the environment the help anything? But, I mean, come on. Cows destroy the environment. Yeah, but they taste good. Bitcoin doesn't taste good. <laughs> I mean, I had great ribs and a great burger today, which is why but I ain't losing go, no weight. Yo, Rich, you're smart. Like, you're not, a, you are definitely, like, you know, when, when I was in that space, and I've watched you from afar. It's not like I, I it's the first time I heard of you. You mean afar? Like, you're always the same distance, man. The screen is always the same distance. What are you no, sitting away from, the, you know away what? from the couch? I, I <laughs> you know, I have Gox the Media, which I, you know, we, you know, I report. Okay. on different cryptocurrencies but i watch from afar and because we like to go ahead and get the narrative right not right. to go ahead and we don't side with anybody we can care less about that shit whether uh -huh. you like me or not it is what it is but for me personally you're a smart guy like and we were sitting in that chat full of what with three four thousand people oh the the live stream thing the the space had, the twitter space i had your community come at me like why am i de not defending you i'm like hold up i, I can't even get a word in who, who am I supposed to defend here? Uh, I'm getting, like, I'm trying I, I, to I don't need defended. As long as I can talk, I got it. <laughs> no, they were like, why aren't I'm you the Grim Reaper of debates. I, I get it. I've heard you. Yeah. Uh, and there's things that we'll talk about. Obviously, we'll have our own podcast here, Goxian Unfiltered, which will be, it's pre-recorded. 
will be out Wednesday. Well, so but basically, we're gonna make another stream after this stream that's gonna be private for his people, and you gotta wait till he cuts it up and does it. Well, it's for everybody. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it will not. We don't do the thing where like you know we come out and we focus on the things that can hype up a show. No, no, we just deliver real fucking stories there. But um, so like so like you asked where the hate comes from, right? I have more money, a bigger PP, a larger audience. My tweets get more engagement. My, my tweets get more engagement than the founder of Virgin Atlantic. Like Richard Branson's tweets don't get the engagement mine does. Rusty Rocket's tweets don't get the engagement mine do. When I go into a thread, there's already a million hexagons there. My coin's up 10,000 X in two years with perfect flawless operation. If you didn't stake it, if you staked it, you're up two X after that, depending on how long you staked. I well, raised $27 million for charity. It's just Bitcoin with a proof of work change. Bitcoin inflates to reward miners to blow up the environment and murder the price. Hex inflates to reward people for locking up their coins and protecting the price. So Bitcoin inflates to hurt the price. Hex inflates to protect the price. That's it. Okay. But and we use Ethereum miners what, instead of Bitcoin miners. That's it. But what has it done compared to what... Bit, like, if you want to... Okay, if you, let's be fair about it, right? Sure. I'm a Bitcoiner. I'm not a maxi. Yeah. I'm open to everything else. Yeah, so I, I don't take on the toxicity approach. We have to be toxic, and I, I don't fuck with that. Right. Bitcoin, hex. You want to make this argument? Fine. Bitcoin, hex. What has... Can you honestly say that hex has done some of the shit that Bitcoin has done currently to go ahead and open up the floodgates for people? To Absolutely see? not. Absolutely not. Hex so, has okay, not done that. anywhere near as much as Bitcoin has done, which okay. is why Bitcoin's at the that. top of its S curve and hex hasn't started its yet. And I so think you it's so that funny. Hex will go ahead and hold on. You believe hex is going <clears throat> to overtake Bitcoin? Yes. Yes, I do. It's a better product with less negative externalities. A superior website, a superior founder, a superior community, superior price performance, superior features, superior everything. Like, the, the, like I don't... Oh, my God. Bitcoin sucks so bad. It's just crazy to me. So, first of all, when was the best time to buy Bitcoin? When it sucked the most. When there was no liquidity. When Satoshi owned 100% of the coins. When there was only one place in the world to buy it. Mt. Gox. When everything sucked was the best time to buy it, and everyone called it a scam. And when's the best time to buy Hex? When the coin's ownership is centralized, and when everyone calls it a scam, and when it's not traded that many places, and when it hasn't made all the impact Bitcoin's made yet. Because then everyone already bought, and then all they can do is sell, which is why the chart for Bitcoin sucks compared to everything. It's down for five years. It sucks. But people just don't update their worldview. You're holding the top of an S-curve, but you don't realize it. You still think you're early. You're not early. You're late. It's over. Dunzo. I, I obviously have a, you know, I disagree, but listen. What? Okay, so, so know, what's going to pump harder, Ethereum or Bitcoin? Stuff. Well, well, hold on. Let's look at it this way. Do you care about security? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Do you realize Bitcoin's been hacked? What hasn't been hacked? Hex? We can make a statement for everything. No, nope. I'm just saying. No, in you general, can't. Let me give you a list of coins that have had bugs called inflation bugs, where anyone could mint as many free coins as they wanted. Bitcoin twice. They had to roll back the chain in 2010 because someone minted six billion Bitcoin. Oops. Yeah, but that was a hit. That was a. Oh, it's just a whatever. Yeah. Come well, on, then it happened on. again. It happened again, three years ago. And it was responsibly disclosed, but he could have just minted as many free Bitcoin as he wanted because it's trash, garbage, spaghetti code with no written spec and no bug bounty program and devs leaving the sinking ship left and right. That's great. Like, you know what? I'm listening. Like, look, I get it with the with the hex. No, but when bro, I like I, I'm question, telling you about no, Bitcoin's no, critical actually, vulnerabilities and you're like, what? The, like they didn't happen. They happened. But you are just no, not no, a computer but, science guy. Like it, it matters. But, it's spaghetti listen, code. I, it's trash. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I do not, uh, and by the way, I never claim that, like, I am fucking nasty with C++ and Solidity and Python. Never will get that out of me, man. Okay. I, I'm not a coder. Well, I'm just I, telling I you that Bitcoin is spaghetti code, and it's had critical vulnerabilities where anyone could have minted as many free coins as they wanted twice, and one time they did. And our code has will never have that problem. 
because our consensus code that controls supply is locked and isolated and mutable and can't be changed, and therefore it's safer. So Bitcoin is like a safe with a single lock. Hex is like a safe within a safe. There's the normal Ethereum network, which keeps things accounted for properly. And then inside of that is another safe with this our locked, immutable, isolated smart contract, which makes it extra safe. Monero has had an inflation bug. XLM has had an inflation bug. Ravencoin has had an inflation bug where hacker emitted 10% of the total supply and dumped it on the market. Bitcoin's had two inflation bugs. Hex is more secure than any of those coins, period. And people just pretend like it's not happening. No, Hex is more secure than Bitcoin, obviously more secure, and has never had any of the vulnerabilities that Bitcoin's had. And Bitcoin's had many. And our price chart murders theirs. We were up 750x versus Bitcoin had you bought January 1st of 2020, or January 5th, uh, and now we're up 250x. It's like a giant bull flag and then another giant bull flag. It, what, how can we win harder? We won the price. We won the performance. We won the features. What, we won the domain name. When Bitcoin.org was hacked and posted a scam on the main Bitcoin website, did Satoshi come and do an emergency live stream to save the Bitcoin users? No, because he abandoned you. I did an emergency live stream to save Bitcoiners. Me. When's the last time Satoshi gave you free coins? I gave Bitcoiners free coins. I'm a god in this space, and I demand my respect. So this all comes down to kind of like LeBron James just demanding his respect. I demand it. I will have it. You can get it the nice way, or you can get it the I mean, not nice way. Well, hold on, Richard. You Honestly, you don't really have to go, like, uh, from, uh, from my standpoint, you don't really have to go about it this way in order to go ahead and get attention and respect like, dog but of... you do though <laughs> yeah you do but, i tried who, it the other way but, but hold on who i did it the other way who are, you, who are you trying to get attention i'm with? trying to save all these people man there's people out there to say that, bitcoin's I, I, unconfiscatable no, I, but the u.s government's not. auctioning it off all the time it's a lie there's people that say okay. bitcoin's never been hacked it's a lie there's people that say bitcoin's the most secure network in the world it's a lie and i'm sick of people Even lying if, if you want to take that argument Everything in its infancy has somehow, some way been. No, tough. nine years ago is not Bitcoin's infancy, bro. But we're still early in this. Like, I, what? I hate using that word, the world's richest guy early. bought. You're still early. What? What? Still early. <laughs> in, this, in this industry, are we not still early? No, oh. no, you're not, bro. What do you mean? Thirteen years what do you mean is not that? early, man. It Bitcoin is, is at the it top is. of its S curve. It's limp, D, weak. Meh, sideways, lame, sucksville. And by the way, you know, not, only, not only did the world's richest guy buy, but all of his friends bought too. So Michael Saylor bought. All the people he scammed into buying the top bought. Heck, Three Arrows Capital bought with leverage. <laughs> I called the top. They bought the top. They're wrecked, and I'm God mode. I'm all-time high net worth, and everyone else is, ooh, creep, ooh, boo, because they just couldn't listen to the guy that was smarter than them. I'm smarter than Michael Saylor. Michael okay. Saylor called Bitcoin a scam that was going to fail in 2013, just like online gaming. That's Michael Saylor's tweet that he never deleted. He left it but up. He also, but he also said that Apple was going to be a phenomenal company. Sure, he made one up. good call and one bad call, but one cost everyone their life savings. Like, you know, I, I haven't been watching Michael Saylor for 20 years, because I don't, I, I don't, I like... I, a lot of people have said nice things about Apple. I don't think he should get too much credit for it. No, no, I'm not saying he should get, but I'm just saying he was out there saying, like, how can you not look at this? Like, I saw his company. Apple interview. I thought it was nice. It, it sounded very intelligent. I like the pricing power argument. I thought that was all great. But unfortunately... But why, why, can't we, why can't we have a space for everybody? Why does it have to be this no. fucking toxicity? Where because you only have finite capital. Do you, like Do you like... Hold on, hold on. Bitcoin's better than the stock question? market, usually. But like, hold on, Rich. Can I ask you an honest question? Sure. Big dick aside and all. Yeah, yeah. Can Bitcoin exist with Hex and sure. with Ethereum? With Hex? What's There's the people that still listen to records and cassette tapes, man. Sure. But hold on. There's are people you, that use old you, technology. Sure. Are you angry more so with the, with the Maxis than you They're are the with worst. The Maxis are the worst. I just, I don't like people that lie. Look, the but, but price, Bitcoin, Bitcoin went up 690 million percent. You don't need to lie about it. It's already good enough. B Bitcoin still did, like from the COVID dip until it's high, which took like maybe a year and a half, it still did a uh, 20x. That's not too bad. 
a 20 X in a year and a half. It's not too bad. Ethereum did like a 66 and Hex did like a thousand or something. But like, you know, it, it's why so what do you, do you want to do your best go. or do you want to just not do your best? I want to do my best. Okay, Bitcoin's not the best at anything. It, it, you, but that's your opinion and that's fine. No, it's measurable. No, it's measurable. Do you, do you okay. deposit your coins on an exchange, Ethereum or Bitcoin? Which one lets you trade faster, twice as fast at every exchange? Ethereum. Well, then I, then I can go ahead and be devil's advocate and say, what about the Lightning Network? That's not Bitcoin. That yeah. has different security I'm developers, saying, different software, different everything. No, but like with the Lightning Network. Okay. You know that. So so let's talk. Okay. Bro. Uh, am I right like, or wrong? You're wrong. Uh, it's a different it's just it's just a different centralized network. It's I'm and when it fails, that. you ba you beg a different set of centralized entities to please issue I'm the fix. I'm not talking about myself. Rich, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about, I'm playing devil's advocate. No, but like it's to, it's you like pretending it's like pretending that Bitcoin has smart contracts too cuz why not, right? Let's just pretend. Let, let's pretend there's a bunch of liquidity in Lightning, which there's not. Let, let's pretend there's there's stable coins in Bitcoin, which there's not. Let's pretend there's smart contracts, which there's not. Let's pretend there's time deposits, which there's not. They're not even pretending on that one. There's nothing on that garbage, empty, crap network that you can only speculate with and serves no other function. It's slow, expensive, with no roadmap, and bug-ridden. It's trash. I don't know why you like it, other than you've owned it for a while and the price went up. But other than that, well, bro, one time I waited three hours for a single confirmation. Might have been it, six hours, not, actually. Rich, it's not, for me, it's not about, uh, you know, yes, we're all here for, anybody says that they're not here for generational gains is fucking lying to me, like, period. I don't even want to have the conversation. There we about, go. I'm I agree. I agree like, with right you. Now, you just, you gave me a whole lecture just now on, well, a showcase, I should say, uh, you just show me like ninety thousand dollars sneakers, you know, a four hundred thousand dollars chain or whatever it is, man. Like, you all you all got that from generational gains that came from this industry, starting with Bitcoin, right? Being the one that you know, we can all agree, right? Is I this are you? Is it. this like a very verbose resting on one's laurels? No. Do, should we so, like? Is this like watching no, elderly people box? No. I'm not in it for so, that. I don't I'm care if it so, did used to be cool. I care about now. It's still, till this day, it's opening up doors all across. I'll even go into Latin America. Yeah, but you don't got to buy it for it to do that, man. But it's opening up the doors. Yeah, but you don't have to buy it or own it for it to do that. But, but like, no, go ahead, let it do it. Gonna, well, if you're going to make it lingo tender, you got to have to buy it. No, that's just a law. They just pass it. It has nothing okay, to do with I'm the value saying, of the currency. To, they could have passed that law when Bitcoin was 100 times less valuable. There's no relation. I understand that, but now people see like, okay, countries see like this could be a way that we can fix our monetary systems. Why not? And then, yeah, if it opens the door up, Rich, hold on, you're a smart guy. You're a smart guy. If it opens up the door, if it opens up the door, then everybody else can have a chance to come in. Hey, if all the people that can't take my advice and want to buy the top of the S curve want to buy yeah. it, like, go ahead. Buy the top of the S-curve. If you think it's opening doors, Listen, have fun. But we're going to walk in the door after you and eat your lunch and fuck your girlfriend is what we're going to do. But, but so, yeah, it's I, like, I'll say, you know what? I'm going to say this. David Schwartz, who I think is a, a genius in this space, uh, the CTO of Ripple, uh, he said he doesn't matter. And I'm going to paraphrase him because it's not a, the exact quote, but he was on my podcast. And he said, hey, you know what? I don't care who it is. As long as they bring everybody with it. That's not how it works. Yes, you understand well, that. Not, hold on a second. I understand for the record, work, I for know, the record, I, I the Bitcoin guys are literally trying to destroy all the other current coins I through legislation. That. So I you're here that. telling me that they're going to open doors while the actual Bitcoiners are actually trying to close the doors in Congress. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to convey here during our conversation is. I just repeated your Bitcoin point. Open, hold on. If Bitcoin can open the doors. And let everybody else come but, into. But they're not the, doing that. Forget about the Bitcoin maxis don't speak for me. No, but let's take El Salvador. Okay. Bitcoin was made legal tender, right? Yeah. Okay. So what door did that open for Ethereum? Didn't open no fucking Ethereum door because they didn't make Ethereum no fucking legal tender. We don't know yet. They left that fucking door shut on purpose. Rich, so the evidence know. is 
The, the, Ethereum, the Bitcoin guys want to shut all the doors, just like when they reduced the opcode size and killed counterparty, which would have let people trade assets on Bitcoin. Do you know what? We're speaking for a select few. No, bro. There's only, there's only a few people in there. Like, like the Cardano dude, uh, Hodgkinskin is actually whatever. I can't pronounce his name. Cardano guy. He's in there trying to get the legislation to allow a thousand flowers to bloom. And the Bitcoin guys are in there saying, no, Bitcoin and everything else is a scam. That's the reality. But hold on, Rich. The people ultimately win. Like the people here, the no, people don't. put value. They don't like always win. You put win. value on a diamond, right? You put value on a diamond, yeah, right? I hate them, but yeah, uh -huh, exactly. I guess. And I mean, I bought one. Put, oh, shit. Diamonds, diamonds. Di people put value on it. Yeah. We put value on Lamborghinis and Ferraris. Oh, that's the standard. If it was zero dollars, nobody would get one. I got a lot we'll of Lamborghinis and Ferraris, bro. Like, I like them. Yeah. Okay. And I get it. Like, look, you're balling out of control. Yes. And you got a big... And you, Three, nine, you four, have, world's largest diamond, nine million. Oh, I'm sorry, like nine point six million dollars of watches, three million dollars of cars, Rolls Royce. You guys haven't seen that one yet. Bentley, Lamborghini, Ferrari, McLaren. You haven't seen that one yet either. Um, yeah, I fucking flex hard, bro. I'm running out of stuff to buy. Listen, uh, God bless you for flexing. <laughs> no, I just think I think that you've got a bag of Bitcoin. And you want the price to go up and not, you want everyone to like no, it. Not, but if but you looked at your other bags, the Bitcoin bag didn't actually do that good compared to other stuff, accounting for time. And uh, you wish everyone wasn't a maxi, but they are. And, you know. Rich, but Rich, hold on. Hold on, Rich. It's, you know what? I, I don't, I, you know, I don't go out there telling people to buy Bitcoin. Do whatever the fuck oh, good. you want. Thank God. Don't. My ass, is, my ass is just like, I'm getting Bitcoin. You can do whatever you want, but I'm also going to get Ethereum. I'm also going to get XRP. I'm also going to get into every project that I think is legitimate and then has a real use case to go ahead and help people. That's what I look at. I don't give a fuck. I'm not with this narrative that I'm going to just talk about Bitcoin, mm -hmm. buy Bitcoin, do this Bitcoin, Bitcoin fixes, uh, you know, hemorrhoids. Like I'm not <laughs> into that whole. I, I saw a guy that said that Bitcoin mining solves the energy crisis. And I was just like, God damn. This is like, uh, you know, shotguns cure uh, childhood illness. You're like, yeah, it gets rid of the illness. Also gets rid of the child. But, but I also don't feel that it's fair to just say, you know what? Bitcoin ain't shit. Throw it out. Nah, it's dog. Good. It's fine. It's okay. It's just old tech, man. Like, look, you could use Windows 10. You could use Windows 3.11. You could use Windows 95B. You could use DOS. They all work. They just suck. You could use, you know, whatever, Windows you 7. Like you can you use Windows like 7. It. There's people that do. But well, we to, it just sucks. What? I think in, in this space, we tend to go ahead and talk too much. Uh, we, we state opinions and we try to make them back. No, but I it's computer software, man. It's just software, bro. I know about software. Get it. But it's can just it software. Be no. Can it not it, be no. Which is why you have Lightning. And Lightning's not Bitcoin. And it has different devs and a different code base. And it has its, it's own set of critical vulnerabilities that get updated. Is it not okay to build on top of things? Well, it, it depends. You can build on top of something that's really slow and sucks and then hope that you can make up for it. Or you can build on top of something that's better. So, like, I mean, I build on something that's totally or almost. I want you understand. I Vitalik wanted to build Ethereum on Bitcoin. I know that. I, I know wanted that. to build Hex on Bitcoin. Neither of and us could because Bitcoin sucks. It's not so our but, fault, no, man. But, but Vitalik, no, but hold on. Vitalik didn't build on top of Bitcoin because they threw him to the side, and then he's like, they no, just fuck, they literally they literally don't want anyone to build anything on it. They they're adversarial. They do not want you to build on it because they think that they're they think that everything is a replacement good versus Bitcoin, which it's not because they have different features. Ethereum, uh, an NFT on Ethereum has nothing in common with Bitcoin and has a totally different audience and a totally different well, use I, case. Yeah, I, listen, that that whole argument and you were in that room. I mean, like that argument about NFTs being built on Bitcoin. Like, I, Thank you. Stick to monetary policies. Thank like you. Like I said. Listen, me and you are going to disagree. We might agree one or two times. I think I think that we agree on a lot of stuff. I just but, like Bitcoin a little less. <laughs> I guess, and, and listen, and that's every. And you know what? Everybody, and that's the beautiful part about this industry. 
do whatever you feel is right for you. Do the research. Do some education. Don't See, I just dis- I disagree with that, bro. I think I think you, you should just listen to me, and then not think you're smarter okay. than me. Like, because how many people yeah, like, put their money into Luna and lost it all, and I warned them. And how many people put their money into Celsius and lost it all, and I warned but they them. Shouldn't have. And how many Who people bought the top when I called the top? But hold and on, like hold you're on. just like. It, what, what? Luna, you can go back into Luna. Yes, I was a fan. I got to say, I was a fan on the surface. And then when I started to dig deep, that's when I started to kind of crawl away. Celsius, if you're all about not your keys, not your crypto, or not your Bitcoin, I don't know what the fuck you're doing in Celsius. I'm not on... Uh, listen, I'm Agree. Not rooting for somebody to break. Look, I don't root for any project to go ahead and, and like literally fail. I, I hope that people... Well, legitimate intentions win. Yeah, but there's a lot of not legitimate intentions out there. All right. I got it. Like, I mean, Mashinsky was on TV dollars. telling you that you got to give him your keys because otherwise you'll lose them. Well, shit like that that's being said. Like, look, I was in a Celsius room and I was listening in. There was 400 people in there and people were saying, I bought Bitcoin in 2012. I know how special Bitcoin is. I gave it away to Celsius. <laughs> and if you... Have the education about not your keys, not your oh, Bitcoin. God. And your ass should have never went into Celsius. Mm. If we're trying to escape from the bank. I literally, has, I'm his competitor. Like, I literally designed something that generates you yield while you hold your own keys. And even after they all went bankrupt, why is no one coming and pointing and being like, oh, he built the solution to that? People still don't show the respect, even after we kill everything. I don't know how to win any harder, man. I'd like, I, 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 I need to release a sex tape or something, man. I don't know. I, I got it. You are, you are one interesting fella. I got it, Richard. I got to say, honestly, you are one interesting <laughs> guy. Man. You're, you're actually right. You're, I don't think you need to tell everybody how big your penis is and like how many <laughs> diamonds you got and shit. I think you just can come out here and literally, I mean, both the talk. So, man, like, bro, should no we like should we do your show? Because like I don't want to I don't want to blow through all yeah, your time. So sure, so let's. I'm, I'm holding back some questions, guys. Okay. Obviously, like there's more that I want. So I'm gonna to I'm gonna terminate the live stream. And then restart. Uh, well, I'm just going to terminate my live stream. Hey, everybody on the live stream that's watching, you can see David Gokstein's stuff on twitter.com forward slash David K. Gokstein. Good luck spelling it, but if you kind of try and spell it, Google will autocomplete it for you. Um, and then uh, this guy, this guy, <laughs> I try to spell it like eight times, bro. It's the S H T E I N that gets me, dude. Like the S H got me. Um, and then Richard uh, Richard Hart went on Twitter. Richard Hart official on Instagram, and uh, Richard Hart on YouTube. World's largest free airdrop coming. You don't have to do anything. You're gonna get a copy of all your Ethereum coins on a new chain for free. Uh, go check it out. It's working awesome. Uh, solves the environment thing. Doesn't blow up the environment. Burns 25% of the fees, and more. Check it out at PulseChain.com. And uh, if you want free self help books, t.me/sci-vive like survive through science. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And I'm going to do the rest of my uh, interview with David here. Ciao, guys. Ciao.